वेलकम बॉयज टू दी क्लास ऑफ एफ वाई बी कॉम कंपल्सरी इंग्लिश अगेन इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी डिड हाफ ऑफ द स्टोरी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू वाइंड अप द स्टोरी एंड माई मेजर फोकस विल बी ऑन द एंड ऑफ द स्टोरी द टाइटल ऑफ द स्टोरी एज यू नो is the beggar written by anton chekhov there are only three characters in the story first major character is a lawyer sorostrov second character is lashka a beggar and the third one is olga and she is a cook working at lawyer's house you know the story a beggar under the pretext of being a school teacher expelled from the school sometimes he tells people that he is a student expelled from the school and by telling lies to the people he is making his food he is extracting money from the people and he is living in the society as a beggar now the end part of the story is very interesting sorostrov offers him a chit a letter and tells him to go and see one of his friends the beggar goes to meet his friends one who is a well known famous lawyer in the town and he offers Lashkov the job of a copywriter Before that the lawyer Sorostrov wants to change this person wants to correct Lashkov and he starts telling him that you must work somewhere But every time under different pretexts under different reasons he avoids doing his duties he is not interested in the work at all that is the physical work at all sorostro offers him the job of chopping wood the job of beating the mattresses at home or different type of physical work he offers lashkov and wants him that lashkov should change himself and he should take the charge of his own life so that he can change his own personality from beggar into a good gentleman he learns that he is able to read and write so he offers him a letter and tells him to see that person in an office of a public notary so that lawyer will offer him a job lashkov leaves the place he leaves sorostrov's office and joins another office after 2 years he finds lashkov at the theater at the booking window of the theater purchasing a ticket to watch the play and he purchases a ticket of the gallery which is bit costly than the others sorostro looks at him and he recognizes lashkov and he approaches him and tells him do you recognize me who am i and so lashkov says yes i recognize you i do remember you well that you are a lawyer well known famous lawyer in the town sorostro who had given me a letter and due to your help i could join in an office and have changed myself absolutely sorostro feels and he is very much satisfied about his own act of changing the personality of a person 
earlier who was a beggar have changed himself as a good gentle person and he is very much satisfied his, with his own act. He starts appreciating his own act and admiring himself by telling him that it is my act of offering you a job and changing your personality absolutely from a beggar into a good gentleman in the society. Lashko says, the beggar says that at present he is working in the public notary's office and he is earning 30 rubles per month and it has changed his complete personality, it has changed his personality to a great extent. But he explains a very interesting thing at the end of the story. Lashko says, it is not your act, it is not lawyer's act of offering him a cheat or a letter to join in an office, but it was the act of his cook Olga which has brought drastic changes in his life. And he explains that whenever Sorostro offered him a job of chopping wood in the wood shade or beating the mattresses or different kind of work whenever it was offered to him by Sorostrov, it was not Lashkov who worked but in place of him Olga she was always working for Lashkov and every time she Olga told Sorostrov that Lashkov has completed his work and she did all these things out of the sympathy and love for Lashkov. She felt very bad about him. She always keeping blaming him, always blaming him for his act of telling lies to the people and his way of living in the society. Being a drunkard, she always abused and blamed him so that he starts thinking and introspecting about his own act. And Olga brought such a drastic change in the life of Lashkov that he has changed himself. And this secret he explains at the end of the story and he says it is not only you but your cook she has brought in me a drastic change and I have changed myself into a good gentleman in the society and at present he says that he is working in the lawyers in the not public notary's office and earning a good living and he has taken a charge of his own life. Here in this short story the author has to give a message to his readers. What the message is? The message is that man must think about and introspect about his own act every time. Second thing only using sweet words for others, only giving advice to others, giving suggestions to others is not important. More than that, the action matters more than the words. Action matters more than the words. More than words. So the action is far more important than the words. Means one must act, one must work very hard in the society so that one can find one's place in the society. That is what the moral of the story is. 
So in this way, the story ends here with a shocking end which was not known to the lawyer because every time Olga told a lie to Sarastrov that Lashkov, the beggar, has worked and every time Sarastrov kept paying to Lashkov and it was out of sympathy only Olga was working for Lashkov, the beggar. So it's a shocking end to the readers as well as to the lawyer, the lawyer in the story and here ends the story with a shocking note telling us that action is more important than the words. So in this way the story is over. Next time we shall see the another article given in your text. Till then, goodbye.